Hello, fellow book nerds. It's me, Jenna. Late night, getting ready for bed. I just had my cuppa and a lovely bubble bath, and I decided, hey, before I lay down, I'm gonna do a little TBR. Boom, 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 boom. TBR, TBR. So I don't have any fancy editing stuffs anymore. It was all on my work computer. And when I sh changed jobs, um, I now teach fourth grade at Pomo, which is oh, such a great, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even, I won't even bother. So I have um, a big old stack of books that um, I say I'm going to try to get through in November. But before, this is my 2019, or 2018 TBR. Hopefully I'll get this done this year. I went to Cancun with a girlfriend probably five years ago and started this. So, um, yeah, this is, I know some people, um, my friend Will, the bald book geek, said he didn't enjoy it. It was a little too fan fiction-y for him. And reading it, I kind of get that. It's kind of like Tolkien, Tolkien, Tolkien-esque because of um, the language and the world and all of that good stuff. So, and then on to the good stuff. I'm trying to like get an angle that's not just blank wall. Oh well. Oh, you wanna see a puppy? Here's a dog. Oh, isn't he cute? So the first book that I'm going to read, look at me shamelessly use my puppy, is Teach Like a Pirate. It's by Dave Burgess. I've seen him talk a couple times and I like what he says. Pirate is actually an acronym. Passion is P and then there are other things that are I and, you know, the rest of the pirate word. And there's a really great PDF, if I think to write a description, um, I'll put it in here. But the PDF is really great because it has um, all of his quote-unquote hooks. If you take a look, let me flip through. <laughs> Welcome to non-edit land. So, yes. Oh, and look, of course, what did I circle... So I've read this before. This is going to be a reread for me. Now that I'm in the classroom, I want to take some theory and turn it into practice. Then, of course, there's Learn Like a Pirate. This was written by Paul Solars, but it's part of the whole T-Lap, Teach Like a Pirate people thing. And so I'm excited about this because this is all about creating a student-led classroom, which is my ultimate goal. If I could have universal design like just working all day on what they've individually wanted while meeting the standards, oh, it would be the perfect. So this is Play Like a Pirate. It's by Quinn Rollins. And then Explore Like a Pirate, which I'm really excited about right now. Actually, I won't talk too much about teaching because it could go on and on and on. In fact, good morning, class. How are you? This is Mrs. Rogers, because I'm sure that I'm going to show them. Hello, this is me, getting ready for bed. That's David in the background, making noise, as one does. Um, and so I'm doing a lot of stuff for um, exploration and stuff like that. Like right now, to learn the geography of the United States, I'm taking an idea from Beth Newingham. Girl, if you ever see this, you... You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. If you're a teacher and you don't know the name Beth Newingham, do yourself a favor. Google it. You're welcome. She's taking a break from teaching right now, but she has left some amazing stuff behind. And um, like we went and did um, a virtual tour of the Freedom Trail in Boston today, and that was a lot of fun. And then finally... It is time for me to really, if we're going to have a baby biologically, it is time for me to really take my health seriously. And part of taking my health seriously is taking my self-care seriously, is taking care of my hobbies, you know what I mean? Like booktube. But at the same time, I'm limited. You know, I don't, I'm not ever going to edit ever again without nice editing software. I'm not going to edit on my phone. I love you, but I'm not going to do it. So this is kind of, this is what it is now. Welcome to the new reality of Bookum Jenna. Um, 
That's not to say I won't do like skits and stuff eventually, but so yes, this book will, I'm hoping that reading it and showing it to you will encourage me to make the healthy choices I have to make because we could, we could, we could try, you know, I've lost enough weight that maybe it's in the cards. So that is it for me. I am going to tuck into Elf Stones of Shananara, Shananara, Shananan, Shananananara, Shananara. Um, keep reading and take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs>